Now to the next in front now. And the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association still stands by the advice to its frontline members to stay away from isolation centers if they are not provided essential supplies, particularly personal protective clothing. The association also stressed that health workers be on the alert to better deal with suspected cases in the light of the outbreak. Wenilai has more. The National Executive Committee of the Association at the time of our visit was in one of their monthly meetings and top of the agenda was COVID-19. President of the Association, Perpetual of Fori Ampofo, explained it was important for the Ministry of Health to provide the needed supplies. It's very important that the our employers, most specifically the Ministry of Health, makes available what we need to work with. And the fact that nurses and midwives who may be working at the isolation centers in the designated treatment centers should have the right tools to work with. And specifically, we are looking at the PPEs. She indicated there were ongoing discussions on healthcare workers' safety. Um, the issue about insurance and then compensation for those who will be working at the isolation centers is also very important and there are ongoing discussions about that. We hope that um, it will be concluded soon. With more than 70,000 registered general nurses and community health nurses, Perpetual Fori Ampofu stated that members are prepared to work. Uh, for the individual facilities, we are expecting that the medical directors, in collaboration with the uh, DDNSS, that is the Deputy Director of Nursing Services, as well as the various directors of nursing services, will give the adequate training the nurses and midwives need so that they can also properly um, engage the patients and clients. We know that the service, as in the Ghana Health Service, has um, directed giving some nursing and midwifery preparedness on the COVID-19. In its third press release on COVID-19, safety has been paramount. Per what the labor law stipulates and what the uh, service employee handbook also stipulates, if you find yourself in an environment, a working environment where what you need to work with is not available and th there's threats to your life, it's important that you remove yourself. So if you don't have what it takes to nurse or to take care of such a patient, then it will not be right for you as a nurse or a midwife to put yourself at risk.